thank you, everyone, for dialing into today's Together for Industry webinar from Thomas. How Thomas can help you source COVID-19 supplies and more. I'm Kathy, the Director of Youth Acquisition. Now, before we begin, um, just a few housekeeping items to go through. Number one, we're all working from home now, for most of us. Uh, please be patient with our Wi-Fi signals and sound quality. Um, and for those of you who are dialed in with computer audio and you're connected, great. Uh, for anyone else that might be struggling with that, remember you can go into go onto your go to webinar control panel. There is an audio option, uh, and you can dial in using your old school telephone. In our experience, that actually works the best for audio. In addition, um, there is a presentation accompanying uh, the webinar. Uh, a lot of you might be seeing our screen right now, and if you have problem looking at our screen, Mariah, my colleague, actually shared a tiny.cc URL that would take you to the companion deck, uh, and you can click and view the deck alongside with our presentation. So, but for people who actually can see the screen, um, it would be better for you to stay with us on the screen so that you can follow our pace as well. And throughout the presentation, I saw some of you already asked some questions like Wally and Patty, uh, you know, asking a few questions about how to source PPE. I like your enthusiasm. So yes, you can start submitting questions anytime and we will address all the questions and answers at the end. And also, uh, I go with the pace of lightning and if it's too fast, don't worry, because we will circulate a copy of the presentation and all the resources mentioned, because we do have a lot to go through today, and I'm going to start by introducing ourselves. So I'm Kathy Ma, the Director of User Acquisition. Um, I, if you're confused about my accent, um, I was born and raised in Hong Kong, sort of grew up in London, moved here a few years ago because I fell in love with an American. Um, that's a crazy story, but uh, we'll talk about it um, over a glass of wine some other time. Uh, professionally, I have been the Director of User Acquisition at Thomas for two years now, and I live in Manhattan, so sorry if you hear random siren and traffic. It's really hard to, to create like a soundproof room living in the city. Um, very passionate about the use of data and content. I was a sociologist on Wikipedia, worked in tech company like Yahoo, uh, finance company, companies like Moody's Analytics, and now uh, I found my home at Thomas because this is a place, this is a company where it really cares about its communities of manufacturers. And, um, and we're proud to show you what we built for you today. And let me cue in my colleague, Tom, as well. Tom, can you introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Tom Greco, VP of Product and Data at Thomas, and I'm very excited for the opportunity to introduce you to uh, all that Thomas has to offer you in the area of, of uh, supplier discovery and sourcing today. And Tom is an amazing resource at Thomas. He has over two decades of uh, working with different manufacturers, uh, OEM distributors, um, and he's here to answer any questions you may have as well. And thank you, Tom, for your time today. So let's jump right in. Who is Thomas? Now, some of you might have heard of the big green book in manufacturing. We have been around for over 122 years. Uh, Thomas is a supplier network, for, first and foremost. Um, we have over half a million manufacturers on our platform. Uh, people can source and we connect industrial buyers with uh, people who can serve them every single day. We also have an industrial marketing platform uh, and, and an amazing agency behind the scene. Uh, I always see that we are the technical extension of anyone working in manufacturing that needs to grow their revenue and audience who don't want to worry about, you know, how to build a website or SEO or all the, you know, other acronyms that might be slowing your business down. Uh, in addition, I love our product data solutions team. Think about Thomas as a Shopify backend for a lot of uh, companies where we actually produce um, the solution to host a cat file or even produce a cat file of hundreds and thousands of SKUs so that we can take that pain away from manufacturers and help them get to in engineers sooner. And finally, Thomas Industrial Data is one of the newest um, developments of Thomas, where we triangulate all of our sourcing activities 
against S&P 500. And we are actually quite confident in predicting and understanding um, how the market is moving based on the data we collect. And we will go through some of them today as an illustration to our data capacity and intelligence as well. So in short, I'm really proud to say that in 122 years, this company lasts and thrived. And now we went from being a publisher, a registry, to being a data and technology platform. Well, what is also great is we do have over a million active registered users. Um, I see, you know, over 70% small business, small and medium businesses using Thomas every day to source, but also huge companies like Caterpillar, FedEx, Boeing, you name it. Um, and uh, it's really amazing that we are collecting all these daily insights into what the industry is looking for, from metal to rubber, to understanding the impact of oil crisis on the industry. In addition, um, I mentioned before, we have half a million suppliers on our platform. So you may be wondering, who are these suppliers? So we have over 70,000 categories of suppliers from adhesive to sealant to zinc alloy. So um, if you visit thomasnet.com, you'll be able to browse and look for any manufacturers in the industrial space. And I'm going to share a little bit more in a bit how you can access and talk to these suppliers as well. So what is Thomas specialization? Um, this is this crisis COVID-19, which we'll jump into in a few minutes, really shine lights on, on the strength of our platform. On one hand, um, we manage a lot of direct spends with our, with our users. What do I mean by that? On thomasnet.com, you can discover suppliers that can fulfill your mechanical components needs or electrical components, and also finding custom manufacturing services such as CNC machining, in, and also sourcing for raw materials. In addition, there are a lot of indirect spend categories on our platform too. In particular, all of safety equipments and supplies are very important right now, given what we're going through, but also uh, laboratory equipment, MRO products and services, uh, packaging and plant and process equipment as well. So we don't stop there. We also are connected to OEMs, uh, distributors, uh, and other service companies as well. We do have, for example, a lot of logistic company uh, using our platform. And since this crisis, I'm seeing a lot more state and federal organizations and NGOs using our platform to source critical supplies as well. But it all starts with Thomas Net. Um, if you haven't bookmarked our website, um, this is not a pitch. I, I do really strongly encourage you to bookmark it right now because I, I, I'm just really shocked as a new person coming into the sector that there's such a, a breadth of information off of free on Thomas. So let's go into it. Um, as you know, we're all working from home right now and this is an unprecedented time. And from Thomas' perspective, we started really seeing um, a huge surge of PPE and COVID-19 related categories as early as January. In Q1, um, instead of the usual, you know, manufacturing services, CNC related search, um, we are seeing a lot of interest in masks, sanitizers, paper, fabric and cloth. That's even before there was the first reported case in America. So as a team, we thought, okay, maybe this is, this could become a global pandemic and we have to get our, our, our kind of um, actions in order. I was about to curse and then I realized this is a wet manner. So I, I'm like trying to censor myself a little bit. So as a result, we launched the COVID-19 response system. Now within the system, there are many really amazing tools, but it all starts from number one thing. We had to call for over 500,000 North American manufacturers and ask them who are ready in supplying COVID-19 related supplies, including PPE and also ventilator parts. I remember when I woke up, you know, on a Saturday, you know, none of us could go to sleep. You know, you worry about other people, right? And, um, and we just put together this form. It's like, okay, we don't know where we're going with this, but let's get everyone together and see how we can help. And to our surprise, you know, in the last few weeks, there are over 2,200 manufacturers who volunteered to help. So doing what we're best at doing, we, we, brought in over a hundred expert analysts within Thomas and engineers. They work around the clock. Tom's team, I mean, they have been working so many weekends nonstop. What we're doing was to validate and categorize all of these suppliers so that when you are buying, 
you look at all these suppliers, we're giving you as real time and useful information as possible. Because we talk to a lot of people in the buying sector as well, and everyone is like, by the time we call a buyer, they, they're out of stock. So we want to get you latest information, including availability and capability in time. So because we have such an amazing team of uh, supply content analysts, we are able to launch um, additional badging um, tools on our platform, which I will explain you know, with demo in a bit. But what these badges do is that for the registered Thomas suppliers, they actually have additional structured data validated by our content analyst team. Uh, so you can contact all of these suppliers by using our request, request quote or contact, bu contact buttons. In addition, for the verified suppliers, they actually went through extra vigorous um, validation and activation process, and our team painstakingly apply all of the relevant categories of these suppliers to make sure that you, know, you can find them at any given time. Now, the third part is what I mentioned at the beginning of this presentation, the COVID-19 response suppliers. The form that I showed you resulted in our team, you know, revealing all of these suppliers, validating them, understanding if they can supply you with PPE or ventilator parts or even, you know, ha hazard removal kind of services. And, and at this point onwards, like we actually have over 2,000 suppliers on our platform that can uh, service all those needs. And all of them are North American manufacturers as well. So what it means is within you know, less than two months, we now have one of the biggest and fastest growing COVID-19 response supplier list of categories. So they include PPE, disinfectants, soap, sanitizers, alcohol, you know, ventilators and parts, manufacturing services, hospital equipment, and a lot of medical consumables like testing kits, uh, cotton swaps. Air filtration equipment, as you know, with COVID, a lot of uh, hospitals have to, you know, refit their um, ICU unit as a negative pressure room, and also hazardous waste equipment and removal. So this is to say, now we have one real-time free database of COVID-19 response suppliers at your fingertips. So um, when you go onto Thomasnet, I'll show you step by step how you can access this uh, amazing database at your fingertips. Now. In addition to all the suppliers that are on our platform, every single one of them are actually enhanced with Thomas structured data in simple English. It means that, you know, if you are looking for a supplier that's near you, maybe you might be in Kansas, like you can actually filter by location and find North American manufacturers at your doorsteps, or you can look at thermographic data. So unfortunately with humanity, a lot of people are seeing, you know, there are newly founded companies. Some of them could be reliable, some of them not. So with Thomas, you can actually look at um, the annual revenue data or when, when were these companies founded, uh, the number of employees and also expertise and capabilities. So you know, if you're putting your buying brief through these manufacturers, you are looking for the right one and they are the reputable one and reliable one. In addition, for some of you, if you're sourcing for hospitals um, and, and medical facilities, you may actually need special certification um, to fulfill your purchasing orders. So we have over 190 certification filters on our platform, which I will demonstrate in a bit as well, where you can filter these suppliers by whether or not they're FDA approved, or if you work with the government and big enough organizations, you might actually have a minority or diversity quota to fill as a buyer. So we actually labeled all of our manufacturers uh, based on their ownership statuses. So you can filter companies by whether or not they're women-owned, minority-owned, and veteran-owned as well. Am I going too fast? I'm like looking at chat. Yeah. So if I'm too fast, yell at me. Yell at me during the chat. Because this is like really, truly a very exciting platform. And sometimes I get overly excited talking about this. Now, let's jump into product demos. So there are three things I want you to take away and remember today on what you can do on thomasnet.com. They are one, you can search, two, you can evaluate, and three, you can connect with suppliers. So how do we do that? Um, when it comes to search, Thomas has the most advanced filter, filters in North America in terms of helping you find the right manufacturers based on the data points I, I kind of briefly mentioned, but we're gonna go deeper into it in a bit. We also have a lot of uh, digital tools created to help you shortlist and export all the data that you, you like. 
And finally, we have all the capability for you to ask for information or request quotes directly on our platform. So how do we do that? Number one, um, to start, visit thomasnet.com. Again, if you haven't bookmarked the tool, I suggest you to do that and search for COVID-19. So within this demo, you can see that we have over a thousand suppliers um, that our supplier content team added onto the platform. And let me spend the next few minutes um, explaining to you how this interface actually works. Obviously, when you land on the COVID-19 response suppliers heading, you can see the list of suppliers. And it worked for all of our 70,000 categories. You could be looking for CNC machining or, you know, um, zinc alloy suppliers. You will see an interface look exactly like this. So first thing first, um, the growing list of suppliers are added with this thing we call the supplier result card. And within this card alone, even if you're not drilling in, you can see a lot of really useful information. Like for example, the first two suppliers, uh, All Metal Sales and Ellsworth, you can see the year, uh, the years when these companies were founded more than 20, 30 years ago. Like one of them was founded in 1974 with close to, you know, between 500 to 1,000 employees. So you know you can trust the size of these companies. And uh, in addition, you can see additional information that they have submitted and validated by our team. Um, and you can see that all the most relevant uh, information about COVID-19 response and the capability are highlighted in this box as well. In addition, you may say, okay, Kath, this is great. You have a thousand suppliers, but I'm looking for a specific product. This is where you can use um, our search within results to zero in on onto any keywords of anything you're looking for. So to demonstrate, say I'm looking for N95 masks, I can just type in you know, N95 respirators, click search, and you will see the results um, are kind of filtered into exactly the companies that told us that they have the capability to either manufacture or supply uh, masks. In addition, you may say, okay, this is all great. Now I can filter my product. Um, I can find a list of suppliers, um, but can I filter or sort these companies? And the answer of course is yes. So on the top right-hand corner of the search results, you will see a sort by option. With that option, when you click the option, you can see you know, company size, revenue, and year founded as structured data point, again, freely available for you to use to filter your search results. And um, previously I mentioned that we have the Thomas verified and registered badger to give you that extra layer of confidence. Um, you can use that to further filter your suppliers as well. Now, getting back to the more technical um, illustrations, right? So say if you work for the government and you are looking for suppliers that, that have certain minority statuses or certain, certain quality certifications, this is how you do it. So let's use the first example. I'm looking for a veteran owned business. Um, you actually can go into the COVID sector, sorry, the uh, heading, and then you can actually scroll down to the left-hand corner where you will see a lot of uh, statuses. And here I found the veteran owned checkbox. You click the box and you will see that all the search results are filtered to only companies that actually have a veteran owned status. And then we don't stop there. We deep link to their website to the exact page where they tell us what their capability and certification qualities are. So here you see that this company is ISO uh, 9001 registered. And also you can see that at the bottom, they proclaim to be a veteran owned and operated business. So we're checking all the research pain away from you by deep linking the most relevant information all within our platform. The other example is what if I'm looking for someone who has AS 9910 uh, sorry, 9,100C certificate. So again, you can use our left rail where you will find the right certification uh, that you're looking for. And we filter the search results. You can click through, you can browse through this manufacturer profile. And when you click into the profile, you actually can even download the certification. So, okay, Cass, you, you say, this is pretty good. Now I found the right company that can make the mask with the right certification, but I, I, can't, I don't want to wait for a long time because logistics right now is like a little bit weird. So yeah, you can even find company that are available within, you know, certain distance that you can set. So you can just copy and paste your postcode and you can search within, you know, um, uh, the results of companies 
near you by your postcodes. So this is by company register location. And if you're in manufacturing or in procurement, you understand that sometimes that's not where they serve, right? Because one company can have a headquarter in say Pennsylvania, but they may actually serve nationally. So here um, on the left rail, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see that there's an option for you to filter by location served of these companies. Now, I know a lot of you are asking us this question, like can I click multiple check boxes? Not yet at the moment, you have to kind of repeat the search every time when you're looking for a new state, but we understand that's like a very important feature for you and we're actively looking into introducing that. But even for now, you actually can still go in and look for the specific state or Canadian province that you're looking for and find North American manufacturers as well. So that concludes all the search features you have on Thomas. And I do strongly encourage after this webinar, you pop over to Thomasnet and try it out yourself and let us know if you run into any trouble or if there, if there are any features that you like in particular. Now, step two, we talk about search. Let's talk about evaluate. Um, this is where Thomas structure data comes into light, right? Within our supplier search results, you actually will see an example supplier that has a lot of like extra bolded font with a lot of really cute green icons. Let's spend the next five minutes talking through what these icons are for. Number one, this is my favorite icon. If you see that there's a certificate available for download button, it means that you can actually click through the button and download the certificate. We actually uploaded it onto thomasnet.com server. So you don't have to hunt and actually, you know, log into multiple websites just to really build up your procurement database and structure data yourself. And um, we are also very honest about where we find information about the suppliers. So say Electrosoft say that they are GSA approved. And when you see this special door entrance icon, it means that we validated the information by what they claim on their website. And um, the special star usually means that, okay, so this company is veteran owned. And when you click through this, um, very often you get links to SBA websites, small business uh, agency website. Um, and we'll actually take you to this particular company's uh, certification and show you uh, the latest information on their veteran status whether or not they're expired or they're still up to date, we deep, deep linked it for you so you don't have to search again once you're on the SBA website. And sometimes there are manufacturers that will tell us information directly, and that's when you see the self-reported information on the company profile as well. So let's look at it and see how this looks on the website. Now, on the search result, I found Vanguard as a product company, so I can actually go in and scroll through and look at what are the COVID-19 response specific products they can help me with. So now I see, okay, they are like a rubber manufacturers. They also are a Thomas registered supplier, extra competence for me, so this is great. Now I'm thinking, okay, I now want to actually ask them a question, whether or not they can produce extra gloves or I can actually click request quote button and ask them if I can buy gloves directly uh, from them. Again, this is completely for free. Um, and in addition, if you want to select multiple suppliers for comparison, in the search results, you can click up to five um, suppliers under the select button. And once you click the compare button, we will show you a very in-depth database table. Now, let me delve a little bit and take my time in explaining to you the table. So just to recap, on the search results, you can choose up to five manufacturers. And once you've selected them and click the compare button, you actually can see the list of these companies with all the information you need, including their location, their phone number, um, what kind of companies are they? Are they manufacturers? Are they custom manufacturers or distributors? And specific to COVID-19, we actually highlighted the COVID-19 capability for you. Um, and also, additional really interesting and useful information like years found employees. Uh, do they have registration? Do they have diverse statuses and qualified quality certifications? It's all there. In addition, if you see, okay, I really like one of these companies. I want to let my boss know about that. You can just click the download button and we'll have a, an in-depth PDF of, 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 the, of the company profiles that you can download and share that within your internal team. So that's all pretty cool, right? Now, okay, now you're like, 
Kath, this is great. I want to create a short list of all the companies that I searched through your demo uh, uh, that can do N95. Now, you can actually click the Save button on any manufacturers, and you can create a short list um, by clicking the Save button, and then you see the prompt, and you can create a new, new list, or you can add to existing list. And once you have the list, you can actually click the Short List button under My Account, and you will find the list, and you can reference it at any point and see the big table. Now, you may be like, okay, slow down a little bit, Kathy. I need to figure out exactly where I can download the short list. So just to recap on this, you go to Thomas' website, find the My Account button on the top right-hand corner, and you will get the supplier shortlist um, landing page. This is where you can find all the supplies you've saved over time. And in addition, we don't really stop there. We actually let you export all of these companies' information into a CSV file. So this is an example. We, we saved our N95 shortlist. You click the shortlist button. Now, okay, everything I saved is in Thomas forever. I click the button, and we will take you to the table that we demonstrated before. Except this time, we don't limit you by the number of supplies you can add to the shortlist, and you can check all and click the download button. Once you click the download button, you actually get a CSV file that contains all the information that you can see on the screen. And this is the CSV file you get. You actually can see the company uh, information, URL, address, um, all the thermographic data we already covered, all the certification and diversity data that we already covered as well. And we even have export market. So if you're not from, from you know, the US or Canada and you're wondering, can I source from American manufacturer for international markets? We have all this information for you as well. So final aspect of it, we already covered search, evaluate. Let's talk about connect. So within our, our, our interface on all supply profiles, there's a green button called Request Quote, and you can actually fill in this form and click the Send button. Now, in addition, you actually can select multiple suppliers. See, this example, I'm clicking, you know, three suppliers, four. So you can select up to five suppliers and then click the Request Info button where, you know, you can supply, you can, you can actually ask multiple suppliers uh, to help you with your needs. So um, what about if you actually need more than what you've sourced before? So within COVID, we are noticing that a lot of buyers are switching categories really fast, especially in the Department of Defense and military. They might be, you know, procurement officers that used to procure for defense, but now they have to look for ventilator parts. What if you've never sourced for something you've never, you know, done before? You actually can use something special and free again on thomasnet.com. So this is an example. We can use something called custom quote. Um, it's free. You can just go to thomasnet.com and click the request a quote button and, and, and land onto this page. Now within this page, you actually can click the button and, 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 and get started. So we'll take you to a form, a very simple form where you can tell us what, what are you requiring, um, where are you based, how much are you looking for. You can name your project, you can give us a deadline, you can uh, even give us description, but also upload cat drawing, any NDA. And what happens is our engineers will then try to find up to five suppliers that we know are best suited to fulfill your needs. So that also is like a really cool service. Now the final aspect of you know, finding ways to connect with suppliers, and this is like a brand new service that we've launched. Again, we're doing it all for free because at Thomas, our priority is to get N95 supplies um, and also COVID general critical supplies to people who need it the most. So if you are an NGO or hospital organization and you're struggling to stock up your inventory, um, uh, get in touch. So I'll, I'll, in the next slide, I'll share with you how to get in touch. Um, we actually have over 60 organizations, including this one, Massachusetts Senior Care Association. They are struggling to get enough PPE for the frontline worker. What we've done is we actually combine all of these requests. Uh, once they fill in this form, thomasnet.com forward slash COVID-19 dash requests. Um, bookmark this form, send it to your friends and family and any other NGOs and organizations that you know are struggling. Because what we'll do is between Mariah and I, we're a very small team, we're actually creating a weekly digest email to send to the 2,000 plus manufacturers that volunteers 
um, we are sending them as almost like a flare in the air saying that, hey, these are the organizations that are looking for help. And that include um, uh, donation, but also sales opportunities. Because Thomas is a two-sided market and we understand a lot of manufacturers and suppliers are also really trying to navigate a very strange times. So we're trying to really push and pull all of these buying opportunities with or without budget uh, to help you guys stay afloat as well during a quite difficult times as well. So again, if you know people who are working in NGOs, hospitals uh, that are struggling, please share this form with them. Now, this form actually also serves a dual purpose, and I can see there are some questions out there asking, hey, you know, I'm looking for help, I'm looking for a partnership, or, or I have the capability to make fabric, but I don't know how to make, you know, FDA-approved mask and all of that. You also can use the same form. There's actually a special partnership button. With that button, uh, once you choose that button and explain to us what kind of help you're looking for, we'll try our best to pair your business with, um, with experts and consultancies and government organizations as well uh, to our best ability as well. So that really sums up Thomas core feature summary. Uh, we are engineered to work together for you and for everyone. Uh, as you can see, we have a lot of amazing structured data across over 500,000 company profiles. We also have advanced search filters to save you time in understanding the capability and availability of these suppliers. You can compare multiple suppliers on our platform. You can also save and shortlist suppliers on our platform. We also have the capability for you to save multiple suppliers, download all data through CSV, and request custom quotes. Now, there's one caveat. Occasionally, you might see certain suppliers that don't have the request a quote button. So they are the basic free profile that we have, but you can still click through to the website and find the phone number and get in touch, get in touch with those suppliers directly yourself. And again, even for suppliers, I never mention it, to get listed on Thomas is completely free. Um, our goal is to create the world's best North American manufacturing database. So um, everyone is free to list the business and also access our database. The only thing we may ask you to do is to register so we can understand and serve your needs a little bit better. But again, registration is also completely for free. So, okay, Kathy, take a deep breath. That's a lot of COVID information that you've shared. Uh, what else can Thomas do for me? Now, there are a few really useful resources that I wanted to share with you. Number one, we do have something called a COVID-19 resource hub. We're updating this hub on a daily basis. The address is thomas, thomasnet.com forward slash COVID-19. Um, we will share this presentation, including our recording and the deck. So, and also all the links I'm mentioning, we will also follow up with an email. So please don't worry about frantically copying everything. Now, why is this resource hub useful? I'll explain why. So since day number one, um, many states, many provinces are changing their policies in terms of, you know, the shutdown orders. And also a lot of manufacturers um, are trying to pivot the business. From our latest COVID-19 survey uh, in April, we learned that one in seven manufacturers actually already pivoted to serve the COVID-19 uh, related market because things have changed a lot. And with the COVID Resource Hub, we are constantly doing a lot of research and analysis and sharing all of these information in the hub and we update it on a daily basis. So all the resources that you saw, including the link to the COVID-19 supplier heading page or the form where you can use to um, a volunteer to supply PPE or to ask for, you know, NGO and uh, organization and, and partnership help, all those links are in this one hub. So if you want to share this presentation to everyone and say, Thomas is doing something related to COVID-19, this is the home to everything. Um, in addition, we have a lot of manufacturers getting in touch asking us, hey, we're thinking about pivoting to create um, content, uh, sorry, not content, product around PPE. We're looking for unwoven, you know, machine that can make fabric because Asia is no longer exporting those raw materials because of the supply chain crisis, right? Uh, we actually wrote really long form, in-depth content on how those machines work or where you can find those suppliers. We also have linked it uh, under COVID-19 help, you can see there's like a section underneath, you know, the bottom part of the page. I can pivot my business to make critical supplies. So we edit all those up-to-date information uh, that we research uh, for you in, in, the, in that area on the website as well. 
So in addition, um, I, I have to tell you guys, I never learned so much about masks my whole life. I grew up in Hong Kong. We actually been through um, SARS. And I didn't know even back then that there's so many criteria and federal and, and you know, uh, regional um, uh, sort of certifications in making sure that masks are safe or, you know, they are fulfilling ASTM standards. So there are many other standards. So what we've done is we have a technical content team under forward slash articles, like thomasnet.com forward slash articles. You will see a lot of very well researched, easily, you know, 2,000, 3,000 words articles in explaining to you everything you need to know about manufacturing processes, but also specifically to COVID-19 related manufacturing news and information. In addition, you'd be like, hey, Kath, this is really the first time I truly understand the power of Thomasnet, and I like to stay in touch and find out more about what's going on in the industry. Now, we do have a newsletter with over 300,000 industrial active subscribers. It's called Thomas Industry Update. You can subscribe for free uh, under thomasnet.com forward slash. When we have updates about COVID-19 with our latest survey, latest results, um, we also share um, all of this in intelligence via Thomas, uh, Thomas Industry Update as well. And um, remember, uh, if you, this is a form that I actually shared before for NGOs and hospitals. I just want to call it out one more time because I think this is the most important part of this webinar is of helping people. If you need, if you need something for your NGO hospitals or if you know people are struggling, get them to fill in this form. Now, if you're a business, um, like a normal organization sourcing for mask or PPE for reopening, I would encourage to, you to use the normal COVID-19 supplier headings that we demonstrated because that's still the fastest way for you to talk to suppliers directly. This form, I think, is best reserved for organizations that are really in need. And last but not least, remember, if you are a manufacturer or you may even be a consultant, you have a lot of intelligence and, and, and wisdom and experience and you really, really want to help and you, you've, you have like, you know, exhausted all of your channels with federal and state government, do get in touch because we're collating all of these information and we are working across different government organizations. For example, um, we do have, you know, California Food and Agriculture, uh, 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 you know, colleagues on the line last time explaining to us, you know, this is a helpful service for them. We also have, you know, federal um, aviation agency uh, and even, you know, military and Department of Defense using our platform. So if when we can, we'll try to make connections for you as well, because this is really the time when we bind together for industry and see what we can do. So this really is um, the end. I think we covered um, a few really interesting aspects of Thomas, uh, including who we are, uh, the history of Thomas, our mission and our passion, also the three things you can do, including the fact that you can search, evaluate, and connect, and all the COVID-19 specific tools that we create for free. Uh, and as I mentioned on the line, you have me, Kathy. I'm gonna switch on my webcam now. Like, um, I, I, I hesitate to do it at the beginning because I was like, what if I kill the bandwidth and you guys can't hear me anymore? So, but I think it's always good you know, to uh, see the person that you're talking to. Now we also have Tom and Mariah have been our amazing producer. She's our content specialist. Um, I think it's time for us to answer some questions. 